Kitai! Crystal Burnett here, Okinawan Health and Plant Specialist, and today I'm going to show you pig's feet. Do they taste good and are they good for you? <laughs> Crystal Burnett here, Okinawan Health and Plant Specialist. Hi Tai, my name is Crystal Burnett. I am a Okinawan Health and Plant Specialist and today I'm going to show you a piece of the longevity diet or the Okinawan diet. I'm going to show you something that the Okinawans have been eating for decades and decades or centuries and centuries. It is pig's feet. I went to the supermarket today and pig's feet are something that you can commonly buy. Um, it's already made and prepackaged. All you have to do is heat it up. So when I say pig's feet, it's actually the leg of the pig. So it can go a little bit more up the joint. So we're not talking just the bottom part of the, the legs, like this is the bottom of the leg, but you can go up a little more and that is what we call tebichi in Okinawan language. However, not everyone likes it because they think too much instead of really understanding why you should be eating tebichi. Now when I say they think too much, it's because we have grown up and we're not used to eating all parts of the animal. It is really important to eat all parts of the animal, not just uh, the rib, um, not just the shoulder. Back, way, way, way back in the day, decades, centuries, thousands of years ago, humans would eat the entire, the entire animal. And there's even a phrase in Okinawan that says you can eat everything of a pig except for the squeal which is a little grotesque to say, but it's true because back in the day, uh, you didn't just pick pieces, you were surviving and you ate what you had. And so you'd eat the entire animal. In modern times, we are a little grossed out by eating um, certain pieces of the animal, like the tongue, um, the liver, uh, the intestines, the small intestine, large intestine, and the feet. Um, this is because this is the way we've grown up now in modern days. Uh, but it's actually important to reverse that mindset and really think I should be eating all of the animal. So I've got pig's feet here and personally I love them. I love tebichi. I love how smooth it is, how soft it is. You can cut them with chopsticks. That's how soft it is. You don't need a knife or anything. They taste wonderful. But why do I suggest eating tebichi? You should eat tebichi or fatty meats like this is because they contain a lot of collagen. Applying collagen to your face is just not enough. It's not proven to be super effective, but eating collagen is really, really important. As we age, we lose collagen in our body. So that gives us the wrinkles and the not very elastic like skin that we used to have when we were a child. It is said for women during menopause that they lose up to 30% of their collagen production capacity. So things like pig's feet or tebichi here when you slow cook them, because this is made by cooking it for many, many hours, it really renders out the collagen. And when you eat it, you get a lot of collagen in your system. Three big benefits of eating tebichi or Okinawan's pig feet is one, helps you maintain healthy skin, two, helps relieve joint pain, and three, contributes to muscle gain. And best of all, it's low in calories. All you have to do for this tebichi is put it in boiling water for five minutes and take it out. This smells so good already. I can't even explain it. It just smells so good. I love tebichi and you're looking at it. I'm grabbing it. It's a little hot. So I'm using um, tongs and you can already see the flesh coming off the bone. That's how soft and tender it is. It just so soft. It melts in your mouth. It is so good to make tebichi. It actually takes, it's very simple. It just takes a very long time. You need the pig's feet meat and you boil it for about two to three hours or until you're able to cut it with your chopsticks. These tebichi or pig's feet were boiled in a mixture of soy sauce, sugar, awamori or Okinawan alcohol, salt, and some garlic. Now tebichi can be boiled in a various amount of mixtures, but typically you always have the awamori and the soy sauce. You can also, and it's optional, you can also add beer or bonito extract or garlic, ginger, leeks. There's many varieties of um, mixtures that you can boil tebichi in. Now that I boiled the tebichi and it is all nice and hot, um, I've pulled it all apart, shown it to you guys, but let me tell you 
I love this stuff. Mm. It is seriously so good. For example, like I love ribs that fall off the bone. That's a really popular phrase when rib restaurants are trying to get you to come to the restaurant. It falls right off the bone and people love that. This is that, it falls right off the bone and makes it so good. Thank you for watching my video on tebichi or pig's feet. I hope this entices you to go try it or at least make change your mindset to understand that it's healthy to eat the entire animal, not just the same pieces over and over and over. I also hope this inspires you to try your own little Okinawan longevity diet or Okinawan diet at home because the Okinawan diet is very unknown all over the world. If you try tebichi or if you're scared to or if you have something to say about them, I've got a Facebook group going where you can have a conversation all day every day. I will answer your comments or your posts. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, talk to me here anywhere, reach out and I will respond. Thank you for watching. Bye.